Commissioner Schmidt, Minister Menschkodinu, dear members of parliaments and European Parliament, thank you for inviting us to this important conference and there's basically three ideas I wanted to share with you. First, even though we can be proud of the joint European handling of this worst crisis since World War II, the situation is still extremely difficult. Second, the European Union and the Member States must therefore focus on one central challenge. How to make sure that the digital and green transitions lead to more real growth. In order to support the recovery we also desperately need, it will be important that the European agenda, including the social agenda, support companies in their aim to create jobs and growth. Because this is the basis for everything, including social well-being and also for our ability to invest in the digital and green transitions. And let me say one thing very clearly. Companies cannot absorb additional burden on top of the crisis while fighting for their survival. And third, it's very important on what level things are done. Many of you have extensive experience about what is better done on European level and where there's an added value and about what is better done on member states level. And for us, subsidiarity is key. The member states will soon start to roll out the national resilience and reform programs. And we are convinced that this rollout must be flanked by the necessary structural reforms we should have done since a long time. Let us bounce back better. The deployment of the European recovery funds is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to increase our long-term growth potential. And the social partners are well placed to reconcile the views of workers and companies. If politicians leave them the space to negotiate at the appropriate level, and if they, of course, afterwards respect the results of these negotiations. Thank you once again for inviting us to this important conference and I wish you fruitful discussions.